Corsair H150i Elite is finally here. What's up YouTube, Yunus PC here. This video is a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to change and install this bad boy into your PC. So at first, we're gonna take out our old AIO, then clean our CPU. Next, we're gonna install this bad boy. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's get started with opening up our case and take the covers off one by one. And now you're gonna wanna make sure that nothing blocking the CPU from the backside. As you can see this part, if there is anything blocking it, make sure to remove it carefully and then reinstall it after we installed our AIO. Now go ahead and unplug every single wire that is attached to your motherboard from your AIO. And go ahead and unscrew the radiator. And you should leave two screws on your AIO on each end. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Now it's time to remove your old AIO from your motherboard. And you might just need to give it a little wiggle to the AIO to take it off easily. And that's the thermal paste on the surface of your AIO. And as you have it in your hands, just keep it up and unscrew those two screws that we just left behind. Now it's easier. Now it's time to clean our CPU. Make sure to do the same thing that I'm gonna do in this video. For this part, you only need a regular alcohol and a towel paper. Put some alcohol on your towel paper and start rubbing on your CPU very gently. Make sure to clean all the thermal paste from the surface of your CPU. Now here it comes the moment of truth. Let's unbox this AIO. Let's place our fans on the radiator. Make sure the Corsair logo is on the outside. And you know what you're gonna do now. Screw, 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 screw. After you're done with the screws, it's time to install the holder of the AIO. Simply place it into the back of your motherboard where the holes are. And make sure that it's stable for now. Then we're gonna use these bolts to make it permanent. And this is where the AIO itself will be installed. Keep the holder on the back with one hand and screw the bolts with the other hand also make sure that you're not touching the CPU because your fingerprints will damage it and then let's install the radiator in this part you should put one screw at each end like so because makes this process easier now let's put the other screw 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 now let's put the dust cover on the radiator then let's pass all the wires into the back for fans power and all those stuff and take the cover off from your AIO and as you can see the thermal paste it's pre-applied so you don't need to put any thermal paste on your CPU and now it's time to gently place it on your CPU. After that, it's time to put the other bolts on so it won't come out. Make sure everything is placed nicely and very stable. And now it's the wiring time. This one is the RGB connector and directly goes to the RGB pins on your motherboard. And this one is the power cable. We need to install it into this hub and it goes here. Let's jump on the back side. Each fan got two cables, one for the RGB and one for the power. And as you can see on the RGB cables, there's already a yellow badge that says to RGB. So simply go ahead and insert the cables into your hub. Make sure the cables for each fan are in one direction. Don't worry, it's not complicated. You'll be just fine because there's no way around it to insert the cables in another place. And now let's insert the cable that I just showed you here. And make sure the marks either on the cable or the hub are matching and you gotta make sure that it's all the way in. Said, let's connect the AIO power cable to our own power supplier unit. On the left is for our PSU and on the right is for the AIO. Insert them inside together and you'll be just fine. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you successfully installed your AIO into your PC. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I'll answer them all. And don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video for the algorithm. And if you want to learn more about PC components, software, hardware, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more and better videos. See you in the next video. Peace.